Thank you so much, um, Julie. Thank you, Virginia, Catherine, Sam, Ian. Um, it's just an absolute delight to support the work that Australians Investing in Women leads. And the Champions of Change Coalition stands side by side AIIW in our shared goal, which is to ensure that the impact of corporate giving programs accelerates progress on gender equality. And as we discussed, our aim is to ensure that well-meaning, gender-neutral programs are not underserving women and girls unintentionally. And through the Champions of Change Coalition, as Ian shared, we continually challenge ourselves to review practices and seek new systemic approaches to accelerating change. And so to that end, our shared resource, which is here for you, it's called Sharpening Hold on. Oh, there we go. Sharpening our focus on corporate giving sets out a framework for action that I invite you all to use. Uh, we started our work together. When we started, our members were really interested in testing the extent to which corporate giving was accelerating or even impeding, potentially, gender equality. And it was very easy to identify programs that specifically supported women and girls. But when it came to causes like bushfires or homelessness or climate change, youth, as we've spoken about, Catherine, what we found is that organizations were really less sure um, how the unique needs of women and girls were being considered or whether they were even benefiting equally um, by the giving. And as leaders, the onus is on us to ask the questions and to support um, our partners to deliver those answers. And that's what this resource helps everyone do. Um, I will say our members began in earnest in 2021. And as we will shortly report in our impact report, which will be out next week, almost half of Champions of Change organizations are now applying a gender lens across their giving. And that's up from just over a third a year ago. So you'd want to see 100%. And you would expect the Champions of Change to outperform the overall numbers. But the trajectory is moving, and we're keeping our eye on it. So our commitment, which we invite all leaders to make, is simple but important. Our commitment is to use our personal influence and the business levers at our disposal to ensure the impact of our organization's giving efforts advance gender equality. This requires, as Gareth pointed to earlier, and the framework is outlined in Sharpening Our Focus, leadership vision and advocacy, organization giving strategies that align with and reinforce the commitment to gender equality, organizations, systems, and processes that reflect the intention to support women and girls in every cause, measuring and reporting, we've spoken a lot about that today, and of course, strong relationships and partnerships with not-for-profits and program partners. So the resource we've developed together offers practical actions against all of those five, so if you want something to do, you can take it and go off and do that. And we share it widely in partnership with Australians investing in women with the ambition that gender equity in giving becomes an expectation rather than a consideration.